All right, so our design model is imported. We use that Lumion Live Sync. Uh, that's super easy just to kind of kick it from SketchUp straight over into Lumion. And now we need to start texturing. So what I'm describing, like just to uh, take a, a step back and look at the big picture here, we import the model, we assign materials, and then we add entourage objects, and then we work with effects. All right, so that's the steps we're going through. We've completed this first step of pulling our design model in. We're good to go. We've got the uh, environment kind of mounted up, and it's time to add materials. So let's do just that. Hop back into Lumion and add some materials. Now, you can see that we have uh, this first material here. If I click on my materials tab, I can hover around, and you can see that Lumion is picking up the material names that come through from SketchUp. So here you've got a material called blue glass. Now, if a material has the name glass in it, it's going to automatically show up as Lumion glass. All right, so I always go after glass, grass, and water. And so we've got our glass taken care of automatically. Let's get to our grass. And I'll just give you a quick pointer here. Um, this is uh, what I always do with the grass, is I push the grass down by like an inch or two and let my curbs kind of pop up. This and, and also my sidewalks and all that. That way my grass isn't just growing like right at the same plane as my sidewalk. I think it just looks better if the grass is pushed down just a, a touch. All right, so uh, we always push our grass down an inch or two. I click on the material. And if you remember from old versions of Lumion, we had this landscape material. Now landscape, that was great for uh, the first eight versions of Lumion, but now where we're at, we've got our nature, 3D grass, and we have all of these different 3D grasses that are absolutely spectacular. So super cool, we've got like, uh, we've got wild grass, clean cut grass, um, different mow patterns, and honestly like row grass too, that seems to be the one that I go after the most. And I'll show you a few little tweaks that I make uh, to the grass usually. And that would be, um, I'll, I'll make sure I'm on there, I double click on my row grass, and I always make the grass size a little bit smaller. So I like cut that default in half, make the grass length a little bit higher, and um, then maybe use my grass cut and just trim the grass just a bit. And it seems like I can get a, a nice look out of that. So, um, you know, tinker with those settings, see what you come up with, but that's usually where I, I steer. And honestly, you cannot go wrong with the default settings. Really with any of the, the materials in, in Lumion, if you just go with the default settings, they're gonna look good. Just use those, so. All right, so we've got our grass taken care of. Uh, let's let's keep working through here. So you can see I've got like some pavement or some asphalt. Uh, we've got these uh, white striping. So check this out. I'll click on our blacktop new. I'll go to outdoor and then go to asphalt. On page two, we have this asphalt wet. Now, one uh, I, I'm really psyched to not use the wet asphalt anymore because we have the new precipitation effect. So I'm gonna show you why you don't really need this, this material that, that I used to use all the time. We're gonna go with just a standard uh, kind of cleaner, um, just dry asphalt, I suppose. So we've got like a worn asphalt and we also have a new asphalt. So um, I'm gonna go with worn and double click on it and do a bit of colorization. And let's see if, you know, just make that a little bit more uh, darker in color. So I think that looks pretty good. Maybe even a little bit more on there. And you know, let me try our new. Yeah, you know, I do like the new better. So I'm gonna colorize that, make sure that it's pretty dark and we're in good shape. All right, now you can see that like the asphalt has, uh, the, the asphalt's taken care of, but now we have these uh, white striping here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this menu here on my material and I'm going to copy the properties of that asphalt material click on this material, make it a standard material, just that way I get this menu, and I can hit the menu and hit paste. That's gonna match the properties. It just dumped those uh, same asphalt properties onto the white striping, and now I'm gonna colorize 100% and make it white. So this way, I have my white striping that matches the same properties as the uh, black asphalt. So, good to go there. Next, uh, let's work on this concrete, all right? So like I have the curbs as one, one material and then I have all of our uh, kind of sidewalks on a different material. So I'll click on my uh, curbs here 
and let's make that a standard material. And I don't want any gloss and I don't want any reflectivity. But what I do want is I'm gonna want a normal map. So if I click that, and then you can see the relief, you know, you can really see the shadows happening on this side here. So we'll, we'll do a better demonstration with the brick, but uh, maybe just a little bit of relief. And then I'll go over here to my weathering. And I always give pretty much every material a bit of weathering. Uh, it doesn't need a lot, but um, so there we go. And then we can round the edges of our concrete. So hopefully that's coming through real clear. I mean, going from like a super hard edged uh, computer model and then you just round those edges and it looks like reality. That is, you know, it wouldn't be that super sharp edge. All right, looking good. So what I can do is again, I can copy these properties and then I can click on my sidewalk, make it a standard material, and then I can paste my properties there and we're good to go. Sweet, all right, so then uh, let's see, we've got our, um, our asphalt's taken care of, our concrete is taken care of, and our glass, and let's take a look at our brick, all right? So let's just kind of zoom in and get a good look at our brick. All right, I'll click here, make this a standard material, and then I'm going to uh, make a, uh, well, we don't want any gloss, and we don't want any reflectivity, and I do want a normal map. So I'll click to create a normal map. Now you can see how like the shadows are kind of on the wrong side. So let me click this again, and it flips the normal map. All right, so now I can go with the amount of relief. See, this is zero relief, and when it has a bit of relief, you can really see that brick start to pop through. Now, you don't wanna go max power. I gotta tell you, like, on, on most of these sliders, uh, just a little bit goes a long way. All right, so I'll go about halfway there, and then we're gonna go with some weathering. All right, so let me back out a bit and take a look at this. And, you know, you don't want it to look old and dirty, but you do want it to look like you're breaking up the surface. And of course, you can choose different weathering types, uh, even if it's aluminum. I mean, try it on brick, you know, see, see how it looks. Um, you know, sometimes you just go all the way and just get a good, good shot of, um, you know, what is the, the max setting, and then we're gonna dial this back down. But I'll probably go with stone and just bring this back down to the point where, you know, it doesn't look uh, dirty, it just looks like it's not computer generated. So I think that's pretty cool. A little bit of uh, rounding on the edges, never hurt anyone there either. All right, so we're in good shape. And then just to finish this out, I would make this a standard material. Um, I would do half the gloss, half the reflectivity, go to my aluminum and give it some weathering, uh, maybe not that much. And then I can always go here, copy, and do the exact same settings on this top one. So uh, just paste like that and we're good to go. So. Um, all right, I think uh, one more one more material. This is uh, our window frames, and let me zoom in on this. All right, and so I'll kind of click here and go to standard, and again, cut down our gloss, cut down our reflectivity, bring our edge rounding up, and then maybe some weathering with aluminum and see where that gets us. All right, so it just kind of gets us some better, uh, some, some better uh, texture maps, really. Breaks up that computer-generated look, so. All right, make sure that you click on this checkbox here. That is how you save your changes. And um, so now we've got our brick, we've got these metal pieces at the top, we've got our grass is in good shape, um, asphalt, concrete. I think we're good to go. I mean, you can see that we don't have a lot of textures in this model. So um, maybe eight, nine, 10 textures and away we go. So that's really all it takes. You don't have to have uh, you know, hundreds of textures to make a good rendering.